What's hashtag support? Stay tuned and find out. gear. My wife's in there buying a phone mount uh, for a bike there. Shadow. Um, that is a nice bike. All about the Air Force. I do support all branches of the military, but back, back to hashtag support. Uh, so what it is, it's a, I call it a movement to for small, mid-level creators to learn, grow, and help generally help each other with whatever they need to, uh, whatever they need, you know, so if that's finding, you know, the best settings for the GoPro or another camera that works or what camera you use, they use software, uh, you know, anyway, uh, it'll help you out. So it's really just, it's a big supportive community for small to mid-level creators to learn, grow, support uh, each other. Um, so basically with this, this video, this is part one, and what it is, what I want you to do is leave a comment down below about what you did wrong when you started motovlogging and what you did right when you started motovlogging. And um, let's see those in the comments. Hit the like button, comment, and uh, share everything. Always share. Just Sharing is caring. All right. Oh, that's weird. What? You're on the wrong side. Riding like you're always on my left side. found this uh, group on Facebook. It's, really, it's called Up and Coming uh, Moto Vloggers. And I have this thing. It's called Hashtag Support. And what it is, is um, so you go to like, it's for small and mid-level creators to, uh, oh, it's connected, yeah. And it's just, you know, you go to each, everybody's channel. It's like about turn green. I actually uh, made a whole little outline about it. Good test. That way, I know if I'm on the interstate, I can actually talk. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, instead of just ride. Like usually, I just like ride the interstate, and I don't say anything because there used to be a whole lot of wind, so I don't know now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a spider. Uh, I'm like. Those first few videos were horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at 85 subscribers now.
we really gonna play that game? <laughs> no. Why not? You probably have another gear. I don't. I don't have seven gears. You don't? No, I only have six. I didn't know you already had six. Yeah, I'm at like 70. I think you have full throttle to do that. <laughs> I'm not even at full throttle. I'm probably not even at half. Well, I'm at half now. I had to do full throttle to pass you. Like if I went down to fifth gear, I would just take off. Oh, there was a dude out here, uh, Pam handling. Fucking beggar. Um. Be sure your sin will find you out. What? Hey. Yeah. I gotta do that while I can. <laughs> I'm thinking about, uh, holy shit, it's hot in here, hold on. Yep. Oh, if we have enough time before we go get the kids and we can get this bike cooled down. Taking those off. No. Yes, but you're gonna help. No, I'm not. Why not? Because what? I I have a '94. You have a 2018. I gotta have some kind of advantage. You have vintage style. I have a '94 mediocre-looking bike. You have vintage style. Is that what you call all the paint missing? It depends on where you look. My free spinning mirror. I mean, you know. In the rust. Right, that some is, advantage. It's not rust, it's patina. What the fuck is that? <laughs> rust. <laughs> what? It's rust. I don't get but it's a, it's a look. You should Google it. And it Google patina uh, paint job. It, it looks really good, actually. If they do it right. So you don't get in front of me like that? Well, I mean, you know. It's uh, something to be desired. Oh, this is weird. I don't see how people ride stuff outside. I, I don't. It's, it's not a weird. It bothers me. I mean, you could ride, like, you know, at an angle. No. I mean, not the angle, but you know what I'm saying. One this road makes me nervous. Oh, that wasn't bad. You said you wouldn't die? What? No, <laughs> I said at an angle, but I would say you... You know where I'm in like lane one and you're in lane three? That? Do that. No, it still makes me nervous. I don't like riding that close to you. Well, you still have to have some space, but still. Well, I'd prefer the, you know, you in the front or me in the front. Right, right. I'm actually more comfortable with you behind me because that's usually the way we ride. Well, you have to get up front. Yeah, you, oh, that. you I'm certainly can. I'm a good bit behind you. Huh? I'm a good bit behind you. Why? Because this road makes me nervous. Okay. Okay. There's a bump right here. Yeah, there's a bump like every go, Yeah. Just do the... Go, yeah, I'll just go where I went. Yeah. Yeah, it's what they do. Your turn is more important than us. So, you know my, my force is leaking, right? Yeah. I think it's probably just because they're probably from 1994. Uh, I thought it was like something I did. I mean, it's possible to do that, but I don't. I don't think you hit it that hard. They're probably already leaking. Uh, we didn't just notice it yep. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, it's kind of what cushions you uh, when you go up and down in the front there. Yeah. Hey, all right. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. We can either go straight, make a U-turn, or, yeah. Or you can go left, but if you turn left, remember you gotta go up and over. Right. So what do you wanna do? Turn. Huh? Turn. I gotta do it at some point, at least if it happens in the driveway and not in the middle of the road. You just stay in front of me. Sure, I, I think my brakes aren't at like full potential to like my, my foot is like a full fully pressed and I'm like squeezing the brake pretty hard. Well I mean your shoe extremes are very loose. Yeah. On the spider it didn't really matter but out of time. 
Hey, look, a mini, a little, is that a ruckus? It's a ruckus! Where? Over that stoplight. Haha, <laughs> a little scooter? Yeah. That's funny. Oh, shit, okay. What? You're like, ooh, ooh. Hey, ask this lady for some sweet potato pie. Huh? She looks like she might get a sweet potato pie. I feel like I need to tell her she's got her dentures at home. She was just rubbing her gums together. She's probably just taking a break. You know? I mean, you don't need, you know, when you're, when you're chewing your food, you know, when you put it in a blender, you don't need to, you don't need your teeth. Oh shit, I'm putting it in the gear and I'm already in gear. That's okay. Just make sure you're in gear, dude. Yeah, that's the good thing about this bike too. It, it, it definitely, uh, it definitely does that. Oh shit! Oh my god, that looks like a little boy. All right, we got this. We got this. Oh. Did you get it? Yeah, I almost lost it. I'm like all the way over at the curb, but I made it in. <laughs> that's what matters. I was, I, I was doing it again where I wasn't letting the clutch out enough, but then I caught it. Good job. Thank you. No, I don't want to ever do that again, but... I tried to tell you. But I mean, I, I guess that's something I need to work out while I have this bike that it'll care about dropping. I guess, sure. I don't want to get a new bike and then drop it trying to go up a curve because I'm not used to it. Or go up a hill because I'm not used to it. Well, the good thing about the West is uh, it's mostly flat. Unless you get in the mountains. So, yeah. So you know, like the Midwest and the other West, uh, any any West places, mostly flat. Bye. Whew. It's warm in there. Arizona. You know who's in Arizona? Dan Dan Farmer. Really? Yep.